But yeah, main event time then. So we get the promos between Bulldog and uh, Bret Hart. Yeah. What was the thoughts on those? It was basically that um, Bulldog was like it was. It was to, he wanted to fulfil his dream of winning the Intercontinental Title in his home country again. You know, with his home crowd and all that. And Bret Hart was basically saying. You're part of the family. You made all this fucking tension. You wanted to challenge me. I introduced you to my sister. Yeah, you know, and all this. And yeah, it's like basically like some family drama. I did like the Bulldog line of, when we're in a ring, I've never met you before. Yeah. 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 Which Brett responds to in his promo, and he's kind of hot about it. Which yeah. You never met me before, well, I introduced you to my sister. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he's standards. <laughs> London. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I liked it, but... Honestly, I think the the best promo was from Diane. Yeah. I liked it. Her in the crowd, and she seemed very gent Like, she sold it really well, yeah. I thought. Yeah, it's just that it went on a bit too long for me. Because it felt like they were waiting for, like, get the timing right. Yeah. Because she does get cut off. If that's what it is. But then, again, like, she's done really well, I think, with what, you know, what she did. And plus, something you don't get in these days. I no. Mean, family yeah. members. Even at the end of the show, like, it felt very... And when they do do it nowadays, it doesn't feel quite as... I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't put this quite up there with Miss Elizabeth and Randy Savage WrestleMania. No. But it certainly... Um, it, it's, uh, for me, I think it hit the mark, and it did what it was meant to do. Yeah, which absolutely. Good. I couldn't agree more, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, then we get to the match itself, which supposedly Bulldog forgot. Yeah, apparently um, in the first lockup or something like that, Bulldog was like, I fucked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did he tell you? <laughs> yeah. But no, but yeah, supposedly, so Brett had to call the entire match there and then. Because also, I think it was you mentioned, according to, according to like, people like Brett Hart saying, like British Border was coming off a crack binge. Really? Time. Yeah. Wow. So he couldn't get a hold of him. Jesus. So yeah, this is Bulldog at versus versus times. Which is crazy because then like from a again fan perspective, this is his best crowning moment, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. Like this goes down in the history books, never ever be forgotten. British Bulldog's crowning achievement, biggest achievement in wrestling really, and then yeah, to, just to know that, like, again, but that, that's the, I think, the odd thing about doing retro reviews because you can look at stuff that happened after. Mm. Yeah. You know, things that precede it, and it's crazy, really. But yeah, the match itself, considering it, I mean, if that really is true and he forgot everything and Brett had to call the whole thing, uh, uh, probably a testament to how amazing Brett really was. Oh, definitely. That's absolutely. Why, that's why Brett is considered one of the best of all time. He is, absolutely. There's yeah. no question. Best there is, best there was, best there ever will be. There's, you're fucking arguing yeah. to be made. Yeah, for sure. It's a it's a hell of a match. Yeah, it is. It's a really good match. There's some groundbreaking stuff in there. Like he does planches. Yeah, yeah. In ninety two, which is rare. A plancher in ninety two. Yeah. Um, the technical prowess on display. Oh, even at the start when they start doing their technical warm up, if you like, of yeah. the the different roll ups and different pins and the the grapples and the holds and the transitions. It was just fantastic. Like that match would stand easily stand up in today's market of wrestling. Well. Very, very easily. Yeah, and Brett, I think, knows who he's in there with. I mean, like Brits, uh, British Bulldog's a very good technical wrestler, very good technical wrestler. But yeah. Yeah. he has that size advantage over Bret Hart, and they use that to his advantage throughout the match. Yeah, and again, it's that can sometimes be a difficult thing because if you're the bigger guy. More often than not, it's going to be easier to be the heel because you've got that size advantage. If you've got an advantage over somebody, you know, that's the heel. It's a David Goliath kind of situation. But again, there's no way that British Bulldog wasn't going to be the fan favourite. No, because you could hear booze of Bret Hart being pulled down. Yeah. yeah. Which, again, and I don't think, as a majority, I don't think the crowd necessarily hated Bret. No, no, it's just, you know, because it is British, another British face. guy, main yeah. event. You know, you've got to cheer for your, your boy, ain't you? Exactly. And it is face versus face again, isn't it? And Brett's very well liked at this point. Yeah. Yeah, he, he, I know he'll say it himself, but he was brought over and probably in Europe at that time. He was really over in Europe, yeah. I mean, it's outside of Canada, obviously, yeah. for the same reasons people are cheering British Bulldog here. But, you know, Brett's a, he's a worldwide main event megastar, really. And 
Yeah, I think he just he's just done really well. Like Brett still was a, a threat, and he's the champion going into it as well. Yeah. So you know, it's that it's the threat that Brett really is like the best going right now. Can British Bulldog, re- you know, with his size advantage, can he really beat Brett? And well, the answer at the end of the night is yeah, he can. Yeah, very good finish, and the pop afterwards is just amazing. Huge. Oh, it is one of the biggest pops I've heard. But what about the finish then? I mean, yes, it's a roll up, but after the technical bow, where they, it kind of, it kind of is ahead of its time. Like I said with the puncher, where the British Bulldog was the power slam, no power slam that. Usually would beat people. Yeah. Braha kicks out. Yeah. The sharpshooter Absolutely. is countered. Well, not countered, but gets Bulldog gets to the ropes. I love where Brett puts the sharpshooter on when they're both down on the ground. I know. Like, it. It's yeah, a yeah, really yeah. good desperation. Like you don't really see very often now people doing that. Like Brett showing you how spent he is, but like he know like he's it's, again technical mind, technical prowess in the ring. He's got to go for his finishing move because it's his finisher. At all costs, even if he's on his back, he's got to try and lock in the sharpshooter. And it, it's again, great. That's, that's just a credit to the guy again, especially if he if he pretty much called that whole match as well. Yeah, I know. And the, the how class that match was, and if Bulldog didn't know what the fuck he was doing, and it was a it turned out to be a really good match. You know, actually, again, that's just a credit to Brett. Isn't it? I mean, but you know, Bulldog's obviously a professional within the ropes, right? Oh, so. Yeah. You know, he's following instructions, and I think more often than not, one person does call the match. So yeah, it's usually the heel that calls the match. Uh, it's most just just most experience, isn't it? Really, I would have thought. Which uh, t- tricky with those two. I mean, yeah. they're not they're not exactly you know. No, I think, it's not I like think Bulldog was a I green. Bulldog was longer in the wrestling business, but only just from age. Yeah. Yeah. But in terms of an established talent, you're probably looking more at Brett. I think. Yeah. yeah. But ah, uh, uh, it's. It's it's a I just you watch it back. Jay's already hit it on the head, really, but it does hundred percent stand up to today's standards easily, yeah. and it's just a joy watching that match back. Roll up finish may not sit well with some people, and again though, you probably if you look at it like nowadays, if that were to happen, you probably would be more annoyed because the roll up finish is so overly done. Yeah, but it wasn't one of those ones where I've been being down for 10 minutes, but I just... Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Because it was like sort of pretty much out of nowhere and it was a surprise, that got an even bigger pop. They had such a big... Yeah, I mean, the the match went on for what? 25 minutes? Yeah. Yeah. Best part of half an hour. And so it's, it's like the roll up is kind of like the way of protecting Brett as well without having him like completely, utterly defeated. Yeah. Yeah. But like they already protected guys so much through the night by having DQ count out finishes that, you know, you couldn't do it again and certainly couldn't do it for the main event. So, you know No, it's not twenty seven. God. <laughs> what are we giving it for ratings then, boys? Five. I'm gonna give it a four point seven five. It's gotta be platinum. That's a very good call. Yeah, it's gotta be plat I mean for me it's platinum. Um I've seen it so many times, it's like the one that I can easily remember a lot more from the show because everything else was really like God like I remember bits of this but I really don't I don't remember much at all. But yeah. But unfortunately for Bulldog that wouldn't last with the IC title. No, because like we said, he was one of the names that and he that was really soon after. I can't remember how long. It was it was within months. A couple of months I think it was a couple of months after, yeah. We lost the title to Shawn Michaels who we should say the original plan was, if it was to be in America, it would be in Bret Hart losing to Shawn Michaels. Right. Yeah, that that's pretty much like the start of the new generation, isn't it? I think it was going to be a ladder match. I'm not 100% on it, though. Okay. That would have been cool to see, though. But but it did lead up to Bret winning the title. Off yeah. Bret. I yeah. mean, pretty pretty cool. Pretty cool. We wouldn't see British Bulldog again until 19... 90... 94. 94. He, he went to WCW for a little bit and then came back. Yeah. Probably summer, probably summer summer ninety four. Yeah, if I remember it correctly, yeah. but it's around that time anyway. Yeah. Um, nice. Can I just mention one thing about that has sharpshooter spot? Apparently, Bret Hart got it in a dream and planned it out with his wife. Wow. And so it really was a dream match then. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. 